So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P1130 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P1130 code? Well, it's an air fuel racial sensor circuit range performance malfunction bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors on the exhaust to know how much oxygen has been burnt off during combustion. And it's seen an issue with one of these. So it'll have to be troubleshooting to know why. And bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So just find it the number one spark plug and that's the side it's seen an issue with. And sensor one is always the first oxygen sensor on the exhaust that's before the catalytic converter and some of the possible causes could be a bad o2 sensor it could be in the harness or wiring and possibly faulty fuel injector or something along these lines but usually when you have these problems you'll get other error codes that point to it so if you are getting some different engine codes you might want to look at that first and see that that's not causing some kind of cascading effect down the line and so there's going to be two oxygen sensors. There's going to be sensor one, which is also called the upstream oxygen sensor, and it's before the catalytic converter. And then you're going to have sensor two, also called the downstream oxygen sensor, that's located after the catalytic converter. And the one the onboard computer seeing an issue with with this code is going to be the upstream oxygen sensor. So it's going to be the one to locate. And they can be located a little differently. They can be located down underneath the vehicle like this on the exhaust, or they can be located inside the engine compartment right on the exhaust manifold so you just pop the hood and they'll be right there it'll just vary on the year and the type of toyota but the first thing to do is to go locate this upstream oxygen sensor or sensor one since it's the one the onboard computer seeing an issue with and once you locate it the first thing is to examine the wiring and the harness be sure it's plugged in good be sure there's no open shorts anything like this anything going on in the wiring could cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so you want to check it out be sure it all looks good and one thing to keep in mind is that these are usually on a fuse or a relay so again it could vary depending on the year but just keep in mind that if the fuse that controls the circuit blows or if a relay goes bad then it could cause the same problems also like right here on this toyota it's this af heater that's a relay that controls the circuit. So if that had an issue, then it can also cause a problem. And so while not so common, that's something to keep in mind. And so if you checked out the wiring and that looks good, there's no blowing fuses or anything like that, then very likely there is something wrong with the O2 sensor and you could either test it or replace it. Most people would go ahead and replace it. And I'll jump over on Amazon just to give you an idea how much they're costing right now. And it looks like they're ranging around 40, 20, $19. So they're not super high cost parts or anything. And most people would just go ahead and replace them. Of course, like I said, you can also test them if you wanted to. And one thing to mention is there's also a special tool that you can use to, to remove these and, and to put them in. Sometimes they're not needed since sometimes you can get to them with an open-end wrench, but sometimes they are needed. Sometimes they'll be recessed in and you might need it. So you want to examine that sensor. If it's up inside the engine compartment, sometimes they could be recessed into the manifold and you almost need the tool to get them back in. But again, they could vary. So you might not need it, but it's something to keep in mind that you might need that special tool to get it back in on some Toyotas. And so what do you do if you have a Toyota with the P11? three zero code well the first thing to do is locate that upstream oxygen sensor and once you locate it examine the wiring be sure the wiring looks good there's no open shorts or anything like this and keep in mind that it is also on a fuse and sometimes a relay depending on the year uh, the fuse box will be located inside the engine compartment sometimes it can't be up and underneath the dashboard but they're usually inside the engine compartment and if the wiring all looks good there's no open shorts there's no blowing fuse or anything like that uh, very likely you have a bad o2 sensor and replacing it will solve the problem and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P1130 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.